Okay, so we're doing the pant yoke with the drop waist. And if you look on your assignment, it will say that you need a pant front, a pant back, and the yoke. And that's just because we need your out seams to match. So whatever you're doing to the out, to the back of the pant, we have to drop the waist the same in the front so that our out seams are the same length. So I'm gonna start with the pant front, even though I'm not putting a yoke on the pant front. I'm dropping the waistline on the pant front. This is gonna work very similar to a facing in the way that I'm gonna accomplish it. So just for the sake of space and time, I am just going to stop at knee line and just do Bermudas. I'm gonna trace the pant. We're kind of doing a collection of pivot method and slash method just because we can. Right. I'm going to decide how far I'm going to drop this waist. Now, on a full scale body, a dropped waist pants or a low rise pant. Nah, not a low rise, a mid rise pant typically sits about three inches below waistline. So just knowing that, that that's an industry thing, I am going to drop this pant waist an inch and a half. So on the out seam, I'm going to measure down an inch and a half. The center front, I'm going to measure down an inch and a half. I'm going to fold these darts in and then I'm going to continue that line all the way across and I'm going to whack it off. That's it. Same as with the facing, you determine how deep you want that facing to be and it just needs to be the top part that you're cutting off. So if I'm dropping my pant, we fold this dart. I fold this dart. I see that this is gonna come across an inch and a half, an inch and a half, an inch and a half. I'm a little deep. And then I just cut it off. And this piece up here becomes unusable. Does that make sense? Now you can see if I do an inch and a half, I'm just right at the bottom of my dart. And that may or may not bother me. So if I were going to do that and I was that close to the tip of the dart, I'd probably drop it an extra quarter of an inch just so I'm coming in right underneath those darts and having them not interfere with anything I want to do. And then I just cut it off and all this becomes a non piece and you have a dropped waist pant. Does that make sense? Now, can't use that page over on the other side because I did a sloper on the other side. We can use the back of this one though. I don't want to use the back of this one though. Oh, I'm using up all my paper. So on the back, I'm just going to stick with the top part of the pant because once again, we're not doing anything that evolves anything below crotch line. So you need to turn in like a whole pant pattern, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to draw from, you know, mid thigh up. The back has longer and deeper darts. So I know the darts are going to interfere if we drop the pant the same distance that we did in the front. I'm going to make sure on the back I have a hip line because we're going to put a yoke in the back and I need to know where my hip line is going to be. I'd like to know where the crotch line is just so I can proportionately um, put a style line here on the back of these pants. I know that I dropped the front an inch and three quarters. And I did that so I could avoid all darts in the front. So I need to drop it an inch and three quarters in the back. 
So right down the center, right down my dart, right down my out seam. Once again, I'm gonna fold my darts and I'm gonna cut off this unusable piece. This part is no different than in the front. Other than I know I'm still gonna have darts because the darts are deeper. Okay, unusable piece. Make sure you cut it with your darts folded, which I am not balancing that well today. And then I'm left with the unusable piece in the back, which is the same distance as the unusable piece in the front. This we discard, we get rid of it. Then you need to decide what you want your yoke to look by, like back here in the back. And you may need a body to be able to figure that out. If we're looking at this body, we've just dropped the pants down to high hip. So the pants are going to sit here without a waistband. We might still have a waistband, but that's where the top of this sloper is going right here at the top of curve. So if we put a yoke in here, we don't want a really deep yoke because we don't want the yoke to extend down into butt crack. We want to keep it right on this plane of the body. So I would probably take a ruler and just kind of decide what that space is. And it's about an inch deep before I start returning back into the buttock curve, which I don't want to deal with. So that means right here on the center back of my pants, my yoke is going to be about an inch deep. So I'm just going to mark that. Now, what do you want this yoke to look like? Are you wanting a straight diamond yoke, which is traditional on the back pair of pants? Do you want a curved yoke? and put a French dart in your pocket of the pants to give you really defined glute muscle in a female pair of pants. What do you want this yoke to look for? Are you looking more a rounded yoke? Are you looking for a Western yoke? What do you want it to be? You choose as a designer. Just know that you, if I start over here and I slope down to this corner, that this is going to be a V point right in the center back crack of the seam if I do that. And I don't know that I want to have that sharp of a curve here. So I probably am going to um, have it come straight from there, a V cut and have it come over this way, have it be shallower on the side. But I need these darts to remain closed because we're no longer putting darts in these pants. And the bottom has no shaping. The yoke is gonna be shaped. So these darts are gonna stay closed. If I tape these darts closed now and then des design my yoke, then I can make sure that they're not opening, which is probably what I will do. They're just teeny tiny. There's not much to them. They would be bigger if we were working in full scale because proportionately they'd get bigger. They're teeny enough that they're making life difficult for me. So I probably am gonna slash them closed after. I'm just gonna come down like a half an inch over here. I'm gonna come across the body. I'm gonna curve to mit, hit the bottom part of that dart. And then I'm just gonna keep curving. And that's gonna become my yoke line. So I would cut that piece off as well. Now, this is what the top of your pants look like now. You see that? No darts. It's kind of strange. 
slight curve down into the buttocks in the center back, I would just label that. My dart over here, because it was being kind of a pain in my hiney, I am just gonna slash it and I'm gonna pivot it closed because it was resisting the